guys, it's Harley Wood. If you've been watching the channel for a couple months, you've probably already seen some of the videos on the progress of this Glock 43. I'm finally done with it. The last things that I was waiting on was the Agency Arms trigger, the Blacklist barrel, and the Trigicon HD night sights. Let's see, the gun is unloaded. Um, I took it out this weekend and got to shoot it quite a bit. Put over 250 rounds through it. And uh, let's go ahead and show you some of that footage and then we'll bring it back to the table and finish it up. I have 500 rounds from uh, Freedom Munitions. This stuff is just their pretty cheap plinking ammo, 115 grain. And um, it's always proven reliable, so check them out. But let's go ahead and put some rounds through it. So I also just ordered the Trigicon HDs for this, as well as an Agency Arms flat blade trigger. Unfortunately, they didn't get here in time. The trigger's actually delivering to the house today, um, not in time for this trip. And it looks like the night sights are gonna be here on Monday. Today is Saturday. So I'll have to do a follow-up video. Um, or actually, I may roll it in as part of this, but... Um, so far, so good. I mean, I hate Glock sights, the standard Glock sights, but um, should look really nice once we get those HDs put on there. This thing seems to be shooting to the, to the right. Or excuse me, to the left. I'm having to compensate to the right. And um, like I said, these are the factory sights. Um, I'm wondering... It looks pretty pretty good on the back. I was wondering if when I had the Cerakote job done, if maybe the rear was put on um, off a little bit. But it looks pretty damn close. I don't think it's off at all. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera. But um, it's definitely shooting to the left. Went ahead and put gloves on. It's 26 degrees this morning. It's probably warmed up to 30 something now, but um, hands are freaking freezing. Had a failure to lock back. I don't know if it's the magazine. It's the first time it's done it. So as I've been sharing pictures of this pistol on social media, I have an Instagram and a Facebook page. If you want to go check that out. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of them have been around the slide milling and whether that slide milling affects the reliability. And so far so good. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, like I said, I have two, uh, excuse me, 500 rounds here today. I'm gonna burn through all of this and just make sure. But um, this is the first I've shot it since having all this work done to it. So let's go ahead and put some more rounds through it. Lock back that time. All right, so that is 250 rounds. I think I'm gonna stop there. If it had had a single failure to feed or failure to eject or 
any sort of failure, I, I might continue. I might burn the other 250 up. But the only, I don't even know if you want to call it a failure, the only issue I had was there was one time where the magazine, or excuse me, the slide didn't lock all the way back on the magazine. And that was about the third or fourth magazine through the, through the gun, and it, had, and it didn't do it since. So you figure I'm shooting eight rounds per magazine, and I burned 250, and it only did it on the third or fourth magazine through there. The rest went fine. Um, I think we're good. Chalk it up to a break-in period. But wore the... Uh, that beautiful chameleon color off the top there. If you want to see more pictures of this gun, go check out my Instagram page. I'll post a link in the description below. Yeah, nice. the previous segment that you saw and we got the night sights and the agency arms trigger everything came in literally the day after I got back from the last shoot so got it all installed let's go ahead and put some rounds through it So in case you're watching this video and you haven't seen any of the others, let's real quickly go through some of the things that I chose for this gun. Now, the barrel is from Blacklist Industries. It is a match grade barrel. It's their chameleon color. The slide milling and the Cerakote is from Jaeger Works. I also have a Glock 19 done by him. If you haven't seen that video, go check out the channel. I have a Glock playlist. The, um, the grip stippling here is from 5B Gunworks. He also did my Glock 30. I love this basket weave texture that he does. I haven't seen anybody do anything this nice. I mean, there's some other nice ones out there, don't get me wrong, but this basket weave is particularly awesome in my opinion. The Agency Arms Trigger, the, I've got the Hive Technologies extended base plate and the extended magazine release. I've got the Trigicon HD Night Sights. Um, the gun, stock was actually shooting a little bit to the left and um, I put these on and even though I miked the rear sight on both sides and it's even it still seems to be shooting at about 10 or 15 yards it still seems to be shooting an inch or two to the left so um, I don't know what's going on there I'll, I'll keep playing with it I may have to just tap these over a little bit more I thought I had them right but who knows the holster system that I've chosen is this appendix rig from Tuck Tight. I also did a review of that, and I, I love it. I, I don't see any need to get anything else. I'm probably going to end up buying one for the Glock 30. I'm currently using a G-Code Incog for my Glock 30 to carry appendix, but I like this one quite a bit, so probably going to switch that out. 
so that's it guys all said and done I want to say I've got somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,500 in this gun, and that includes the price of the gun also. So a couple people have asked me that, but that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Finally, the Glock 43 is done. Sweet little carry gun. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button below, and we'll see you on the next one.